Bonjour Fire Signs and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Claude here. Thank you for joining me for your oracle messages. I hope you're all doing well and that you've had a good month so far. Now, in this kind of series, I do not use tarot, I just use oracle to channel different messages for you. So please, as always, um, these are general readings, they will not resonate with everybody. So take what applies and just discard the rest. So what do we have for my fire signs, please? What do we need to hear for their highest good? So your first message is first quarter moon in Taurus, release control. So there is a situation at the moment or a relationship that you may feel is slipping between your fingers is what they're saying. And so in an attempt to stop it, you're trying to control it. And sometimes when we try to control something and we hold on too tight, um, too tightly, should I say, there, there is a tendency for this thing to get even further away from us. So your spirit team are bringing your attention to this, that you should not try to control events or people, because ultimately they're going to end up going away if you do that. Um, so to take a step back is, is what I'm hearing, and just go with the flow is the other thing that, that they're saying. Um, release, just let go a little bit because you're holding on too tight to something. Your other message, oh my deck is upside down, that's why I don't read reversal, so I don't know why I was doing that, is new moon in Cancer, relax. So you see, again, these cards to me, they speak to each other. Take a step back, relax. There is evidently something that's very important to you, very dear to your heart, and as I said, it could be a situation, something to do at work, it could be a relationship. And your spirit team are really telling you, you need to relax, you need to take a big, deep breath and let things unfold at their own pace. You can't... And I know it's difficult because I'm a control freak. I, um, I love controlling how things develop and when I want something I want it now and I push and I push until I get it and I'm that kind of person how annoying um, and so when someone says to me oh you know let it go and relax it, it infuriates me but I'm aware that this is one of my problems this is part of my shadow side and I, I am working on it it's a work in progress so you know the message here really is allow things to flow and to develop at their own time um, because they will, and it will always be, the outcome will be always for your highest good, and you, and you need to trust that, you need to trust that the universe has got your back, and what is meant for you will come for you, and when, when you accept that, it makes it easier um, to take a step back and just watch things unfold at their own pace. So let me grab a final card from this deck. We have, you see, last quarter moon in Cancer, take a breather. Didn't I say about taking, take a big deep breath? You see, the three cards are really, firstly, they're in the same type of colours. And they, you've got two Cancer cards right there. And, um, you know, this is water energy and you are fire signs. So I understand that this is really something that may not come naturally for you unless you have a lot of water in your chart and then obviously that's a different story altogether. But take a breather. Stop focusing on this thing. Stop thinking about it all the time. Stop trying to take action. Stop trying to force it to happen. Um, I'm also hearing do something completely different to uh, distract yourself if you just can't stop thinking about it. Believe me again, I totally understand that. Um, but the message for me here is, is very, very clear. You need to take a big step back and let things unfold. All right, let me grab another deck. Let's see what the unicorns have to say. Right. 
so we have growth. Seek out a mentor or a guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. This is a message that complements this. Release control. Um, you can't know everything uh, or know how to do everything is the other thing I'm hearing. So understand that, you know, learning is a step-by-step -step process and it takes time. This card is a confirmation that either you are growing or um, what it is you're trying to grow is growing or your relationship is growing. Things are happening in divine timing. And understand that every single little steps that are taken actually get you closer to the finishing line and give yourself a pat on the back you know when you get to each of those baby steps when you go from one step to the next acknowledge that although this is a small bit of progress it is progress because that's gonna foster you to continue to persevere we then have friendship seek out your soul family surround yourself with positive people spend more time socializing so in this card, it was talking about seeking out a mentor or a guide. So there may be a need to talk to somebody who you trust. It can be a friend, but it can also be a family member. Um, it can be a co-worker if you, you, know, you have a, a good relationship. Someone who has wisdom, who you know you can speak to because you trust um, their judgment and their life experience. Um, I'm very drawn to the color scheme of this card because it's very fiery, so obviously, you know, you being a fire sign, I see the sun behind it, I see your passion, and once you find this person or this community um, or your tribe, for lack of a better word, um, things are just going to completely change and you'll go from baby step to a significant growth and you'll feel the warmth, the joy, the happiness. Um, but they, they're saying that you've not found your tribe yet for some reason. So I don't know what it is that you are trying to control and develop the growth of, but they're saying that it's about the people you have around you. Let me grab a final message from the unicorns and we have innocence. Take time to play, nurture your inner child, live with a childlike sense of wonder. So again, this is the idea of not controlling things. Um, children do not try to control anything. They, they just experience things as if it's the first time, because most of the time it is, and they enjoy themselves. They don't have the worry. They don't think about timelines. They don't think about, oh, I've got to get this by this date. Um, there is no amount of pressure and control going on um, in a child's mind. They just want to be happy, they want to play, they want to discover things and you are invited to embrace this in your heart because this will probably help you unlock things. The more you hold on tight to something, the more blocked the energy will be and this is right under take a breather. So take some time to do things that make you feel happy, you know, like make your heart feel very light um, and joyful because that will help you most definitely. So let me grab a couple of cards from this oracle for you. So can we have some more messages please for my fire signs? And you know, when you embrace your inner child, when you allow yourself to feel that joy um, and that warmth in your heart, you will be attracting your tribe because you will be shining bright, you know, who you really are. And then people who are on the same vibration as you will be drawn to you naturally. You may also be working way too hard and trying to control things at work. And the message again is just take a step back. It'll be okay even delegate some of your tasks. So we have regeneration. So you see, that's what I was telling you about. It's, you will feel this renewal when you let go, because I'm, I'm definitely getting the energy of that, you know, it's exhausting 
um, to try and control things, whether it's at work, whether it's in a relationship, as I said, whatever the case may be. Um, it's exhausting and it's made you feel um, maybe even empty is what they're saying. But you can see here from the artwork and the light and the rain is coming onto this um, tree you're going to be regenerated and you need this time, you need to take a step back, you need to um, experience some happiness and joy for yourself and stop focusing on whatever it is that's consuming you, is, is what I'm hearing loud and clear here. And, you know, reach out to friends and family, um, if you don't have any, if you've got a very tiny circle like me, um, maybe try and join um, a community that um, is linked to a hobby you like to practice or do. Um, that could be helpful. Um, I mean, before I started my channel, I left a few comments on some YouTube videos and I met some people who were like me, basically, and uh, we still correspond. It's really interesting. So there may be something in there for you. And the second message is here and now. So be in the here and now, ground yourself, practice mindfulness. Um, when we try to control things, we project invariably because we want a certain outcome. So we are focusing on this outcome, it's in the future, and then we are missing out what's actually happening around us. You know, there's a life that's actually going by you and you're missing it, which is, is, is a, it's very sad. Um, because we don't know how long we've got on this planet, so we need to enjoy every single day. And I remind myself of that all the time. And it's very interesting because I'm really into numerology. If you've watched my readings before, you'll know this. 46 is 10. 10 is completion, the end of a cycle. And you've got this card of regeneration, so, you know, the end of something, so that something else can start. So, you know, releasing control so that you can unblock the energy and bring in new energy that are going to be even better for you. And this card of the here and now is 32, which amounts to number 5, which is a big number of change. Things are changing, and you, you may miss the change if you're always projecting in the future or in the past, as this card suggests, because you may well be looking to the past, you know, depending on um, where you're at in your life. Um, there are many fire signs on the planet, you don't all live the same life at the same time, obviously. But this is a message of practice mindfulness, be here right now. Tap into your inner child, appreciate love, life, make sure you have moments where it's just about you and you can be happy and enjoy something mindless, you know, something that's just fun um, because that will ignite your passion, that fire um, in your belly. So I'm going to grab an um, animal spirit guide to see what special message um, the animal has to give you to close out your reading. So let's see what we have. So your message is the meerkat, let me show you the card, get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. I mean, the message is very clear, right? We had the card of friendship, seeking out a mentor, um, I got messages of finding your tribe, um, connecting with the right people, the ones who vibrate at the same level of energy, who will absolutely adore your passion, the fire you've got in your belly for things, and then you get the meerkat. Now obviously you may um, hear of meerkats, you know, or see them in books and on billboards or whatever, this is a special um, synchronicities in that case, so pay attention to that. But the message is very clear from your spirit team. You really need to um, connect with people who you trust or people who think like you. And I've listed uh, many different uh, ways you could do that. And this is going to be what's really going to help you um, loosening, loosening a little bit, which is what, what you need at the moment. So I hope you've enjoyed your message for the cards with me. If you found this message helpful in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. As always, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. I wish you a wonderful end of the month and I'll see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.